all that rain that we're having. Now the problem is all the water left behind. News Day's AJ Walker continues our team coverage. She's live in East Haven where there's flooding. AJ. Uh, Ann and Darren, I, I was just letting this truck pass here. Now, that guy can do it there because he's a truck. Now, just a little while ago where I am, the side street here is all flooded. Several cars tried to pass, and they just they were smart and knew that they might end up getting stalled out in this water. So they turned around and didn't try what that guy did. Now, where I am right here, I want to show you my rain boots. You can see it's not all that bad right here, but it, a little further back, it's a little bit deeper, and that's how you can end up stalled out on the side of the road. And also, about 45 minutes ago or so, I was out in Guilford. I didn't see any flooding like I see here, but I did see a lot of lightning, so you want to be careful if you're out there. Um, before that, I was in New Haven about an hour ago. I saw a downed tree, so I think it just really doesn't matter, you know, where you are. If you're out and about right now, there are a number of situations. Could be a flooded road like this or the lightning tree down. Just be very careful while you're out right now. For now, live in East Haven, A.J. Walker, News 8. Strong storms are knocking out power to parts of the state. CLMP is reporting 4,800 of its customers without power. Most of them are in Brantford. UI just restoring power to all but 87 of its customers. At one point, about 2,000 were in the dark in New Haven.